So the designs are hand burned. Uh, so they're non-toxic materials. The resin that I use is a food grade resin. So, uh, Bola, my name is Christine Pickering. I am the creative director behind the brand Kavara Wood Art. Uh, we create sustainable utilitarian art. My husband and I have a timber business. And uh, Kavara was born out of the idea to utilize, to, to utilize the potential of our natural resources. So we create products from cheese platters to cutting boards to coasters, pillow holders, um, pendants, uh, plaques, etc. Uh, the initial reason why we started using resin was to utilize grub holes. So this particular piece is a perfect example. This is a piece of vessi. There's a hole that went right through it. So this would have been deemed as a uh, you know, useless and mm. probably sold as firewood. But uh, using the resin ensures that it creates a whole different piece. So it could be used as a platter, a placemat, an ornament, however you see fit, but it's just creating beauty. When we first started, starting out in the timber industry itself is challenging, being female. So you weren't allowed to be seen at the yard because females are not normally seen at yards. So I was trying to be more resourceful, trying to do more administrative uh, work in the back end. And then just looking at the waste and trying to see how we can best utilize it. Um, so I was not taught. I'm self-taught. I did not know how to wood burn. It was um, it was something that I looked online because I wanted to paint, artistic like that. And um, it all came about with trial and error, uh, practicing new ideas, practicing different styles until we're able to define it. So if you see my products from when I first started in 2016 to what they look like today. A lot of my clients um, can see the difference in how it's improved. And we use a food grade resin uh, to utilize pieces that have grub holes in them uh, to ensure that it's not thrown away or burnt as firewood, but it has another life. Um, and these are our very precious natural resources, so why not utilize them as best we can? Last year, one of the greatest biosols we achieved last year was having our product taken by the Minister of Women uh, women, sorry, and gifted to Hillary Clinton, and that was an amazing accomplishment. I have gifted a lot of, uh, of my boards have been gifted to a lot of prominent people in society, and I'm proud to say that our boards are all over the world, from Afghanistan to South Africa to Iceland, um, they are far and wide. Well, like I mentioned, I've been a member of WebC since 2014. I was part of the strategic committee where the idea of the Wind Convention was first created. And that was very exciting for us to see us come this far. So the very first Wind Convention was held in 2022. And that was uh, important because it was everyone was coming out of COVID and we really struggled. Um, <coughs> Woodard, most of our products are sent overseas and for gifts. But during COVID, a lot of those repatriating were taking our products with them, uh, which still saw business growing. But I then realized that we had a whole local business uh, to focus on uh, with our locals. And, um, you know, that, that helped us uh, sustain ourselves through COVID. Um, and the, first, the very first Spring Convention, they talked about um, business resilience. All those businesses that closed during COVID, that faced challenges during COVID, and how uh, you can innovate, how you need to innovate, how you need to embrace the digital platforms. Uh, you know, being able to do things online, being able to be innovative with your, your methods of business. Um, so that helped me realize, it, it helped uh, take me away from my business and look at it from a different perspective. Um, there was a lot of talk about gender development uh, to pivot to prosperity. You know, embracing that uh, women think very different from men and how you know, in a in a business, you, you can you can see how we work differently and how we can you know with through helping each other uh, accomplish a greater goal. In 2023, the Wind Convention um, you know grew even better because there were two male speakers that really uh, was uh, I was fascinated by. One was uh, the director for Tewaka, uh, Tewaka Fiji, and he shared how he and his wife. Uh, you know, experiences, experience challenges when they first started uh, from family, from friends, and how they had to really struggle because they believed in this in themselves to accomplish, you know, everything they have now. 
Um, we also heard from a motivational speaker, Moses O'Connor, and he spoke about self-care. And, you know, we women, like I said, before we're entrepreneurs, before we're, we get to the office, we need to care for our families, for our spouses, our children, our siblings. Um, so it's being able to, to take time out and care for yourself. You can't fill from an empty cup. So to take time out and to ensure that you're okay um, and then you can do better with your family and then therefore you can do better at your business or your organization. Um, so it's great to hear from them. This is, we're all storytellers and we're incredible storytellers. Being able to be present in a room where you hear someone's story, when you hear someone's passion, their experiences, their challenges, their accomplishments, it helps you look at life differently. And so anyone out there where you, you know, you're a single mom at home, you're not an entrepreneur, you're aspiring to be an entrepreneur, you are an entrepreneur, whether you've just started or you've been in business for a long time, um, may, male as well, to our male participants, you know, it, I believe it is an, an investment in yourself because you're, you're sitting back and you're taking in a lot of knowledge from people who have experienced all this and you're learning, right? The more you listen, the more you learn, the more you grow. And you just don't realize the impact that can have, that can have on your life, on your businesses, on your organizations, what roles you play. And um, like I said, encouraging men to participate in this as well. And, and encouraging them to come and listen, to see how women think differently and how that can be um, you know, used in the offices uh, to, for, women, for more women to work in collaboration with men to help the organization, help the business grow. I think that's imperative. So I would encourage anyone out there listening, watching this video, um, it is an investment in yourself and it is definitely going to be worth it because like I said, these are people who are sharing their insights and it's not, it's not something you hear every day.